Uh, good morning, my friends. This is Father Zerilli with our reflection today, Thursday of the second week of Easter. We're reading from the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 5 today. When the court officers had brought in the apostles and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had killed him by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, well, my friends, we'll, we'll continue to hear uh, the apostles' first sermons uh, in, in the days after the resurrection and ascension of the Lord um, about the risen Christ. And, and, given the, the, and it's given here in the same location and to the same people to whom Jesus himself spoke, right? The, I was commenting about this uh, this past Sunday. Uh, on the beautiful example of mercy that this represents, that the risen Christ did not go back to the chief priests and the scribes and the religious authorities and, and visit vengeance on them, you know, right after he had risen from the dead. Rather, rather than, than do that, he sent his disciples, now fortified with the gift of the Holy Spirit, he sent his disciples to preach to them, to the very people who crucified him, uh, to call them to repentance and salvation. Beautiful. It's a glorious example of God's mercy. Well, sadly, as we read, the, the disciples met with the same reaction that Jesus did. And uh, just as they had plotted to put Jesus to death, so they were doing the same thing to the disciples. But I love their response uh, to the threats that they received and the, and the orders to stop preaching in the name of Jesus. They said, we must obey God rather than men. And I, I think those words, uh, I think we can all look to those words as applicable in virtually any moral situation. We have to tattoo those on our brain, right? We must obey God rather than men. That's something to really remember. Well, of course, the apostles would not stop. And indeed, as we'll be reading throughout the Easter season, they pushed out into the world uh, to bring the saving gospel of Christ to the ends of the earth. And they encountered the same resistance and threats and persecutions wherever they went. Uh, nearly all of them were eventually martyred, as we know, but they did not stop. I came across uh, these words uh, from one priest's uh, reflection he made recently, uh, reflecting on, on this very passage of Acts of the Apostles. And he said these words. He said, The good news will give hope to many, but for some who have made a covenant with death, the good news will irritate them. They will then try to silence us by persecuting us. They will try to manipulate and intimidate us. But we will not let the world put us in the tomb and roll back the stone. We will, we will obey God rather than men. Even if the world puts us to death, it will not stop us, but only will prove the truth of the resurrection. For we will rise from the dead by the power of the risen Christ. Alleluia. He is risen. Amen. And God bless you.